Hey guys, it's Darwin here today to talk about a super debatable piece of gear between hikers, and that is the trowel. Is it necessary or nonsense? Alright, so in the past I have talked about the trowel being a worthless piece of gear to have during a through hike. These things are unnecessary. I said they were kind of goofy, they were bulky, they added extra weight to your pack, took up extra room, and it was a piece of gear that you didn't really need because you could take care of the same job with a stick or a trekking pole, a rock, your shoe, pretty much anything else. Now, even though I made that statement, I still am all for practicing good leave no trace principles by digging a proper cat hole when you gotta take a crap on the trail. Obviously, it's a good idea to dig a hole to put your crap in, which means getting at least 200 feet away from the trail or a shelter or pretty much where anyone's at and digging a six to eight inch hole that is between four and six inches in diameter. Why? Because no one wants to see your crap on a trail because it pollutes the trail and because it can spread diseases to other hikers. Now, after I made that statement, comments started rolling in with people that were ashamed that I didn't know how to practice good leave no trace principles. People wanting me to prove that I could dig a six to eight inch hole with a trekking pole or a stick. And people just being flat out mad that I was telling other hikers not to carry a very valuable piece of gear on the trail. Now the trowel has always been a debatable thing on things like a through hike and to be honest you don't see a lot of through hikers carrying a trowel especially on the Appalachian Trail. Most hikers have learned to dig that hole with a stick or a trekking pole. So because I had been digging a proper hole without a trowel for years I shrugged those comments off and I kind of laughed at them. A few months later I found myself reading an article on the PCTA's website that a famous hiker named Lint had wrote about leave no trace principles. Now, if you guys don't know who Lint is, he's like a triple, triple crowner. He's done something like 13 hikes. He has a ton of miles on him and he's been hiking for years. Lint stated, like most other hikers, that for years he hadn't carried a poop shovel. He had dug his cat holes with a stick, his boot, a rock, whatever he could find because he thought that the trowel was an unnecessary piece of gear. But then he started mentioning overuse on the trail and the effect that the PCTA had seen with human waste. Other hikers weren't bearing their crap. There was tons of toilet paper strewed across the trail everywhere because people weren't practicing good leave no trace principles. Then that got me thinking about the Appalachian Trail. When I was out there in 2015 and 2016, there were tons of times that I saw toilet paper either on the side of the trail, behind a shelter, near a water source, because people weren't bearing their crap. People weren't taking the time to dig that proper cat hole. Now, was it because hikers just didn't care, or was it because they didn't know proper leave no trace principles because they weren't carrying a trowel and they were being lazy about it? I'd probably say the trowel is the number one item that I've seen in hiker boxes over anything else. And then I read Inland's article where he was talking to a friend and the friend suggested that because he helped influence new hikers, it was up to him to carry something like a trowel to help promote good leave no trace principles. Now even being a super ultralight hiker, Lint eventually gave in and he added weight to his pack carrying a trowel. Now the comments never really stopped for me. I started getting comments from people suggesting that because I made videos on YouTube, I helped influence new hikers and I gave suggestions on gear that it was up to me to help inspire a new generation of hikers to respect the trails, practice good leave no trace, and dig a proper cat hole. So it got me thinking, was I starting to be responsible for hikers not bearing their crap? Was I the reason that the trails were getting trashed? Was I myself not practicing the good leave no trace principles that I felt so passionate about? So I did it. I picked up a trowel. Now, to be honest, I originally just picked up a trowel to put it in my pack to show other hikers that they should also be carrying a trowel to dig a proper cat hole. And through having it in my pack, Eventually, whenever I needed to do my business, I started reaching for this guy versus my trekking pole or grabbing a stick. And to my surprise, it was a hell of a lot easier to dig a cat hole and I didn't have to wait so long to go. Now, I still stand by the statement that I made that using something like this on a trail 
or carrying that big classic orange goofy plastic shovel is overkill. They're heavy, they're bulky, they take up room in your pack, but luckily there are a lot of companies out there that have decided to reinvent the trowel, making them more compact, making them much lighter, and making them multi-purpose. From the Vargo Titanium Dig Dig Tool, which is a super cool titanium trowel that can also be used as a stake if you're in those type of environments, to the Saluk 46 Tark, which is another awesome lightweight titanium trowel, to the trowel that I use, which is the Tent Labs Deuce of Spades Aluminum Trowel, which is super compact, has a really cool shape to it. They're only like 20 bucks. It only weighs 0.6 ounces and it comes in a bunch of different colors if you're into accessorizing on the trail. So like I said, being this compact, being this lightweight and only weighing in at 0.6 ounces, it's kind of silly not to bring one of these on your next backpacking trip or through hike. If anything, to help promote good leave no trace principles. So if you guys want some more information on the Deuce of Spades trial or any of the other ones that I mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description box below, plus a link to Lent's article that helped inspire me. What do you guys think? Do you think a trowel is a necessary piece of gear to have in your pack, or do you just use a trekking pole or a stick to dig your hole whenever you gotta take a crap? Leave me something in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of new photos lately of some of the things that Snuggles and I have going on throughout the week, plus some pictures from some past hikes. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.